good evening and welcome back to Prime of Midlife. It's Wednesday evening. As you can hear, I still sound ridiculous. However, I have been up and about today. Well, I've been up and about and then napped and then up and about and napped. You know, but I've, I've actually managed to do things, which is more than I've managed to do for the, since I came off work. Um, today, I did meatballs in a tomato sauce in the slow cooker. And I also did rice pudding, both of which will be placed into tubs and put into the freezer to keep them because I was sitting in the chair because that's basically all I've done most of the week. Um, I'm trying to think, right, I've, I've got my planner coming soon and I will get that sorted and it's got the weekly meals and the recipes and stuff. So I was like, right, you need to start planning. How are you going to do that? Because basically I'm rubbish at it. And so, well, planning is always a lot easier if you have options. And one of the biggest things I find is that if I go out and do a day's work, the last thing I want to be doing when I come in is stand and cooking. So I want to get stuff prepared beforehand. Preferably before I start work next week, I want to do some cooking at the weekend. Um, but also any other weekend, I want to have options. So that in the morning, I can come downstairs, take out the freezer what I'm going to have for dinner, and that's it done. I also want to prep for lunches. I've got my little bento box. I'm loving my bento box thought here. Um, obviously, if it snows or if it gets really cold, horrible weather, the bento box is out the window and we're going for soup because that just has to be done. Um, but yeah, I want, to, I want to have some ideas. I want to have some plans. Um, so I've been sitting looking at stuff, trying to pull stuff together, and I'm like, right, you're in no fit state to be doing anything much anyway just now. So the good thing is I will, I've got another few days before my planner arrives, and I will sit and I will have plans, and I'll put some stuff in the slow cookers, so that the options are there. So that I'm not at the weekend just before I go back to work rushing about like a mad thing. So that's my current plan. And the reason that I'm thinking that way is I don't think this year coming is going to be easy. I really don't. Um, and I think we're going to get told a whole lot of rubbish as the politicians try and change how we think or try and plant things in our brain for the election. And to be honest, it doesn't really matter what they say. And it doesn't particularly matter what they want us to believe. I mean, by all means, you know, you vote for who you want to vote for. But what you need to deal with is how your day-to-day -day life is going. And my day-to-day -day life is going that I need to plan, I need to cut my expenditure because prices are going up and my income's not. So that needs to be a way to do it. And as I say, last year I sort of lurched through it. This year I want to be a lot more organised. So get ready for lists and plans and pre-cooking and stuff and things. That's the plan. But of course, as usual, I am going to go and have a cup of tea and rest now. So I will catch you later. <laughs> 